with General Manager John Robinson. I'm Mike Keith, and we're talking ball to open the show, presented by Duncan. You're opening the program because the Titans had a big victory and opened hot on offense. What keyed that fast start? Yeah, Mike, we, I mean, we started with tempo. You know, we came out of the gate. We talked about it all week, wanting to start fast. So we went no huddle, and we got into the run game, got into the pass game. You know, it's all about getting that first first down. Once you got the first first down, then the play sheet's wide open. O-line did a great job of making holes. Derek did a great job running. Ryan surveying, finding the open guy. Guys making plays. Uh, it was a really impressive drive to start the football game and one that we had talked about all week. The Titans scored on their first five possessions of the ball game. Great job by the offense. Defense might have been even better, though. Fantastic performance. When you watch the tape, what jumped out to you? I think it was the execution of the details within the calls. You know, we talked about all week. You know, if it's zone coverage, make sure you're closing those throw lanes because that's one thing that, that Mahomes really likes to do is find those windows that open up as guys come out of coverage. Secondary was disciplined. We were tight in man coverage, uh, which allowed our rush to kind of trigger and get after the quarterback. Uh, ended up with four sacks, and, and when they got down to the red zone, we really firmed up and, and kept them out. The Titans played all 48 guys who were active against the Chiefs. Seven Titans were appearing in their first game of the year for Tennessee. The Titans have really embraced the next man up concept. How has that become such an effective part of your culture? Well, I mean, I think that's something that we preach, you know, from, from the start of training camp or when guys come in here. I mean, Bobby Hart got here on Tuesday and he ended up playing meaningful snaps for us. But if you're in, the, if you're in that meeting room, you know, if you're in that team room, you're going over the game plan, we're talking through, you know, what it's going to look like on Sunday. Whether you're on the active roster or on the practice squad, you better be ready to play, you know, both mentally and physically. And everybody in that room had a great week of practice and it showed on Sunday. Not once this year, have your five starters in the offensive line played every snap in a game. You've had to go to backups in every contest, and yet the offensive line has continued to improve. Have you done it? Well, I mean, I think it starts with the coaching staff. Those guys do a great job uh, with that group. Keith Carter, Mike Sullivan, Hossie, you know, really focusing on and preaching the details, the techniques, the fundamentals of offensive line play. This group's played together for a while, so they know each other well. They hold each other accountable. And they know that if they, you know, if they mess up on a, a block or they may not chip this guy or that somebody's right beside them and it's going to pick up their slack and help them out. So it's a really tight knit group and one that we're going to continue to lean on down the stretch. The Titans are plus five in turnover ratio in the month of October after being minus six in September. Is that the most tangible reason for this football team's improvement? Well, it certainly plays a part in it, Mike. Anytime you can get the ball back for the offense, it certainly bodes well for the outcome of the game. Uh, but that's one of the things that we've, you know, we've really preached. You can watch when you're watching around the league, you're watching other games, techniques and things that, that teams are doing to get the ball out and or take care of it offensively. So we've implemented a lot of stuff throughout the course of practice to create ball disruption when we're on defense to try to get the ball and conversely ball security throughout the course of the practice for offense you know, to make sure that we're taking care of the football. So we got to continue to preach that as we will because it's paying dividends for us. Headed to Indianapolis this weekend, second meeting with the Colts in the last five weeks. Where do you see the biggest differences or improvements in Indianapolis right now from when you saw them back on September 26th. Yeah, they've been, I mean, they're really starting to string some wins together. They've won two in a row now. You know, they, they've got a, a talented backfield. This Taylor is, is really running hard. Wentz looks more comfortable. You know, he's getting more familiar. They're getting some guys back on that line to help protect and, and carve out, you know, holes for, for Taylor and Hines and those guys to run. You know, Mo Alley Cox has, has been a target for, for Wentz. And defensively, they're turning the football over. You know, they're, I think they're plus nine in the turnover margin, second in the league. They're a really disciplined football team. I think they've got the fourth fewest penalties of any team in the league. So that's a testament to Coach Reich and the way that they're doing things. But you can tell they're starting to get a little bit of confidence in the way you watch them play. What are the challenges of playing the Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium? Yeah, anytime you got a road game and, you know, more specifically a division game, a coming off a game a couple weeks ago that's fresh in both of our minds, it's always tough. You know, their fans are going to be loud at home, you know, wanting, wanting to get a, a division win. So we'll have to put a game plan in, in place and, and go out and execute it well on Sunday to win.